10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action will be referee Lou Moret. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with white letters, weighing in at 226 pounds. He comes to us from Dale City, Virginia, and brings a professional record of nine and six. Five of those nine victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry, the Slice Man Jones. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, weighing 244 pounds. He's a native of Moscow, Russia, but now fighting out of Columbus, Ohio. His professional record, 15 and two, 11 KOs to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Alex Zolkin. Yeah, I'm giving you instruction in the dressing room. Remember, just keep the punches up. He's a little high, okay? So I'm gonna be looking at the, the hip. Shake hands and wake the bell. Good luck. There's the knockout ratio, and uh, Zolkin with the, a better knockout ratio, and he would probably be the slightly bigger puncher. Jerry Jones, you know, fights most of the time as a righty, but will switch a lot. And uh, most heavyweights are not used to seeing another lefty, and look already, Zolkin's giving him trouble. A couple of pretty good shots from Alex Zolkin. Another thing that Jones will do is he'll give you a lot of angles, a la James Tony. You know, it is intriguing that the, the problems that Jones ends up giving other fighters, he's facing now. The left-handed style. right hand from Jones. You know the thing about Jerry Jones? His power is deceptive. And you, and you, you can see everyone goes in the ring against him as Carl Williams did, thinking, oh, he's not a puncher. But you know what? When he wants to, he can sting you. Look at him now. He's actually squared up to Zolkin, which you usually don't want to do. He's in the between switching from righty to lefty. Good Very combination. Step back, step back. I think this is going to be an entertaining heavyweight fight. This is going to be one where these guys are going to be throwing punches. And conversely now, as Jones kind of switches to lefty, most left-handed fighters like Zolkin don't ever see another lefty, so that could give him trouble. Look at left hand dropped in by Zolkin. You know the other thing that strikes me out? Jerry Jones looks bigger to me. Yeah, he really does, doesn't he? You know, that's a very good point. He looks bigger than, than we have seen him. His upper body. So his nickname, Slice Man, may not be totally appropriate. Unless you're thinking of it as cut up. He really wants to counter Zolkin off the rope. He's there by design. He did, but he took a couple shots in exchange. End of the first round. Very competitive first round. Tough round to judge. When I, here's a statistic that I never thought I would utter in a Jerry Jones match. Alexander Zolkin won the battle of the jabs against Jones, but Jones had more power punches, 18 to 14. So, intriguing. It's surprising. Zolkin with a, with a pretty big 100 punches by 
punched by Zolkin. When was the last time you saw a heavyweight, even in the first round, throw 100 punches in a round? Pretty remarkable. That's a, that's a good effort. Now, the question you ask yourself is, will Zolkin be able to sustain that kind of pace? Alexander Zolkin is not an unskilled fighter. And, and, and even though we think he has kind of a European style, we can see he's adapted in some ways. And he throws real big body shots and gets more leverage on his punches than he used to. So he's working on these things. Jerry Jones once again took a deep breath, you know, laid on the ropes. He does that. Good left hand by Zolkin. That hurt Jones. Maybe working off the ropes was a bad idea for Jerry Jones because he's in trouble He's right in now. big trouble, and he can't get off the ropes, and down he goes. And he's still in trouble. Seven, eight, okay? Keep your hands up now, all right? Still a long way to go in round two, and he's still in trouble. And not getting out of those check corner at all. The movement would be in order for Jerry Jones. This is really surprising to see Zolkin with him down so early. And a good left hand from Zolkin again. He's in trouble again. This fight may not have long to go. Uppercut straightens him up. Jones in all kinds of trouble. Zolkin just pounding on him in a corner. Jones tries to fight off. Good leverage by Zolkin on those body shots, too. Jones lays back on the corner again. Now gets out of there. The body work by Zolkin that I think is really impressive, and that's what's hurting Jones. Those body shots are caving him in. Good work downstairs again by Zolkin. Jones left to the head and a right. Jerry Jones better start punching back or they're going to stop this fight. And a Maybe huge left should. hand, and that's it. Complete victory for Alex Zolkin. Well stopped also. That's John Johnson, his... Uh, manager and they are rightfully jubilant alexander zolkin needed this he has been fighting against some clever and difficult opponents mike the bonnie hunter tony tubbs that's what he got here tonight but he was more than capable of hurting jerry jones and maybe big tactical air fight by jones in staying It will be a left hand from Alexander Zolkin that really starts all the damage. Good straight left hand. That, oh, right on the button. That, very straight, good leverage by Zolkin. And, you know, with Jerry Jones, as things went on, you were loath to say, gee, stop this fight as you look at that left again because we've seen before where he's been in trouble and all of a sudden he comes back. Yeah, you never fact, know when he's hurt. That's been a style that he has adopted over the years. That He will lay there and just look like he's beat, and then all of a sudden he'll bounce back. But that was not to be tonight. That, really a complete win, I think. And that was the, the knockdown in the fight. And here at the end of the fight, or near the end, where Zolkin went. And look at the body shots. That's what I urge you to look at. Those are outstanding body shots, and you'll see some right hooks to the body as well. Those were outstanding body shots. Good leverage by Zolkin. I mean... He was left himself a little open for counters, but at that point he had Jones hurt so badly that, um, and that's just what they wanted from him. They wanted a knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lou Moret has to step in and stop the action. The official time comes at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. The winner by TKO victory from Columbus, Ohio, Alex Zolkin. So Alex Zolkin wins it with 30 seconds to spare in round number two to run his record to 16 up and two down, and he's got 12 knockouts along the way as well.